Welcome to Keep On Growing, where we do things a little different. We're into hydroponics, because that makes growing your food very easy. We're also trying to do it in a more natural way, by using less plastic and more materials like wood, stone, glass, even bioplastics. Now, last week we got a lot of storms, we kind of wrecked the shade house, we're going to have to fix that. Maybe we'll use bioplastic. But the plant's alright, and that's good. So join us as we mess around with all kinds of natural materials and try to help you make growing your food not only cheap and easy, but environmentally friendly as well. We're going to start with this little guy right here. We grew some microgreens in this jar, and it's in a seaweed solution, agar agar. It sets up like jello, and it retains moisture, and it doesn't leak out. Now we put a little bit of hydroponic nutrients in with the mixture, and as the plants put down some roots, they absorb the moisture and the nutrients from the gel. After the seeds germinated, it was totally set it and forget it. Grew some awesome microgreens and didn't water it once. Stick around if you want to see more of this. We might even try blue. Now, if you want to grow a lot of food, you want it to be easy, right? So we made a self-watering microgreen grower. We're just going to use a baking dish. Now, one about this deep is perfect. But if you have one that's a little more shallow, that'll work too. Now, I made this on my 3D printer. It's going to screw on the top of the mason jar. It's got holes in it. This is what's going to make the magic happen. Kind of like a hummingbird feeder. So the first thing you want to put this inside your bowl and get your mason jar. And you're also going to need clay pebbles or leca. Now these work perfect because they absorb and retain moisture. Now, first thing you want to do is put a little bit of your nutrient solution into your baking dish. Just cover up the holes on the adapter. It doesn't need to be much higher than that. That way, when you put the mason jar in, a good amount of the nutrients stay in the jar. Because your mason jar, you're going to want to fill up right to the top. Now, get your adapter and just screw it onto the top. It doesn't need to be real tight, just snug. Then we're just going to gently flip it into the baking dish. You can see not a whole lot comes out. And most of your nutrients stayed inside the jar. Now it's going to stay in here until it starts to evaporate from the bottom. Even if you shake it around, not much is going to come out. So now you've got a self-watering container. As the plants drink the nutrients from the bottom, the mason jar replenishes it. Now you're just going to get your clay pebbles and pour them all in here. You can pre-soak these if you like, but I didn't so that you can see right here how it's damp on the bottom and it's dry on the top. That's what makes this work. So you don't want all of your clay pebbles to be damp all the time. This is your basic setup. So to get started, we're going to spritz the clay pebbles, get them nice and damp. Then get you some microgreen seeds. We're going to talk about that in another video. Lots of people are saying it's really expensive. I'm going to give you some helpful tips. Now this is about all you need. And just sprinkle them around. Now this size seed works good. I haven't tried real big seeds like sunflowers or peas yet, but any seed that's about the size of pak choy, your cabbages, things like that will work. Go ahead and spritz the seeds again. Get them all nice and happy. And that's it. We'll just cover this up until the seeds germinate. And in 7 to 10 days, you can have a bunch of microgreens just like this. Now you can harvest them like this, and you can also pull some of them out. It comes out really easy, and you can put them into bigger containers. That way you can have microgreens and baby greens. More bang for your buck. So we're just going to cover this up with a little foil. I'm using bioplastic, but you guys probably aren't doing that yet. We'll talk about that in other videos. The first couple of days, take a peek under here. If they look a little dry, spritz them again. 
But that's about it. I mean, not much work at all after you get them set up. Just set them over to the side. Then when you've got seeds germinating, you've also got microgreens ready to harvest. You've got bigger plants like baby greens, some on the way, some ready to harvest. And you just keep the cycle going over and over again. This way you always have fresh greens whenever you need them. All right, here's another easy way. Some of you have seen this a few months ago. We just grow the pak choy in these little glass jars with a little bit of the clay pebbles and some nutrient solution. Now, some people said they were worried about algae in that, so we took some of the jars and we just covered them with heat shrink tubing. It's really easy. You just cut a little piece, hit it with a heat gun, and it shrinks on there. Now, these slide off when you go to clean them, and they do keep the algae down. The only thing we didn't like was that you can't see inside the jar. See, we like being able to see the roots and the water level. Here, we're kind of just guessing at everything and just adding a little at a time. All right, and here's another natural hydroponic thing I'm working on. I don't really want anyone to go and do this. I just want to show you. There's lots of things that we're working with. And we're experimenting, trying to figure things out. And this is coming along good. It's a bunch of microgreens up in here. And we're just growing these inside of the clay pebbles, sitting inside of biodegradable bags. They're bags made out of plants. When you first put them in there, they hold the water so that your initial microgreens, your initial sprouts, get the water that they need. And as it starts to decompose, the plants establish roots, and you don't have to constantly water this. It makes growing really easy. Here's another box. You guys have seen this. It's Yakasugi. But we're still experimenting with this. I'll have that in another video. This is also growing with the clay pebbles. And we're just really excited being able to grow plants with natural materials and still having a lot of success. Now as we're growing these microgreens and we're going on into baby greens and you guys have seen even bigger kale and cilantro and basil out there growing, I'm really hoping that you're seeing that microgreens are not some fancy expensive garnish. And if that's what you want to do with it, that's cool. But hopefully we're showing people that microgreens are not just a side thought. That they're an important part of your meal. So within a few weeks, you can have all kinds of plants, different textures, different flavors, different aromas at your fingertips whenever you want it. There's colorful ones to make your dishes look better. And there's flavorful ones to make them taste better. There's all kind of possibilities. They're not just for salad. Now we're going to be showing you a lot of different ways to use these and a lot of different ways for you to grow them. It's going to keep everything cheap and easy. So stick around, make sure you're following as we learn to grow wonderful microgreens in a more natural way using hydroponics. Till next time, lift and inspire, keep on growing, be the change.